Hello, my name is Isabel Morton. I'm the founder of Gem Formulas Gemstone Medicine and the Gemstone Therapy Institute. Today I'd like to answer the question, what is the most effective way to cleanse your therapeutic gemstone necklaces? Now, I have worked extensively with many types of cleansing methods and far and beyond all of them is the Gem Formulas Cleansing System. This system is easy, quick, thorough, and really effective. It consists of three steps for removing unwanted energies from your therapeutic gemstone necklaces. Okay, the first step is to unclasp any necklaces that have clasps and hold them at the end. Actually, I'm right-handed, so I'll hold them with my left hand. And then take some of the energy clearing spray and point it downward along the length of the necklace and give it about three squirts. These gems do have some energies out in their field that need to be cleared. And so what I do is I, I pick out like a six-pointed star and I squirt some of the energy clearing at each of those points. Sort of have to sense where in the field the energies are. And then we use some of the electromagnetic radiation clearing spray. Again, clear by spraying down along the length of the necklace. This makes the spray application as efficient as possible. And you can also spray up in the energy field surrounding these gems as well. That seems to be all that it needs. And sometimes you may go back to the energy clearing spray and give it a custom cleanse. And here, as you noticed, I cleansed above the point where I'm holding the gemstones. And then finally, you can use some of the diamond spray. Oops, I aimed a name very well that time. Let's try again. There we go. Now sometimes if they're really, really cruddy, you may have to go back and spray again with the energy clearing. And wow, that should do it. I'm really getting a sense of the brightness of these gems now. And again, I end always with the diamond spray. And that's all there is to it. At this point, if you are using a gemstone necklace for a relatively serious condition and require its constant support, don't break physical contact with the necklace. Just lay them on a towel to uh, wipe off some of the moisture left off from the sprays. But keep holding, keep touching the necklace in some way. In fact, this is one of the great benefits of using these sprays because they allow you to maintain physical contact with your necklaces. And then, once they're dry, you can put them back on. If you do not need physical contact with your gemstones, you can do the cleanse at night and simply put them in a bowl beside your bed. Then they'll be dry and ready for you in the morning. Practitioners, you can return the wet necklaces to your sample case and let them air dry there. You might even use a case like this one. I actually prefer this to a jewelry roll where all the gems lay in straight lines because here their energy field is contained and more defined and therefore it's easier for a patient's energy field to identify each gemstone and this makes selection more precise. I also feel that the gemstone necklaces are somewhat self-regenerating when they're stored in a circular or somewhat circular fashion. And then every once in a while, you can actually just spray your, your whole tray with the energy clearing spray. And then again, just keep the case lit open for a few minutes and let it air dry. Okay, to recap, the first step involves using the energy clearing cleansing spray. This formula removes any of the unwanted energies from the gemstones and the energy fields surrounding the gems. The second step involved using the EMR or electromagnetic radiation clearing spray. 
The clearing spray helps to remove EMR that gemstones will pick up either when you wear the necklace while talking on a cell phone or when you're in an environment of high electromagnetic fields. If you wear a necklace while watching television or working on a computer or even sitting under fluorescent, fluorescent lights, sorry, it's highly likely that the necklace will absorb this electromagnetic radiation. Now the third step employed using the diamond rejuvenation spray and this clears unwanted energy from the gemstones blueprints of optimal function. Diamonds work for gemstones as they do for people and can be used to bring forward information about a gemstone's true purpose. It also brightens and uplifts a gemstone's vibratory rate. There's something else I wanted to share with you about the EMR clearing spray. Before we discovered how to use the spray for clearing EMR from necklaces, to be honest, we were rather stumped by how we could use every cleansing method available and still some necklaces weren't completely clear. And this was because they still had EMR clouding their energy field. We were able to clear all the other kinds of energies that were accumulating on the necklaces, but we weren't able to clear the electromagnetic radiation that the necklaces had absorbed. Once we realized we could use the EMR spray to clear these necklaces, everything changed. And if you've worked with gemstones for a while, then the first time you use the EMR spray, you'll probably be very amazed at how much more clear and clean your necklaces will be. Okay, how often should you cleanse your necklaces? You should cleanse your necklaces after you have finished wearing them so that you can store them cleansed. Also, you should cleanse them each time you use them in a therapy session. Now, if you are wearing a necklace for an ongoing therapy, you're wearing it every day, you should cleanse it at least once a day. And if you're wearing it for a relatively serious condition, consider cleansing it two or three times a day. If you work to keep your necklace as clear as possible, you are going to allow it to work to its very best. You're going to be clearing the energies that collect around the necklace so that its healing energies aren't inhibited or blocked. And you're also going to prolong the life of the thread. If you clean your necklace two or three times a day, or at least once a day, you're going to greatly reduce the amount of premature breakage that your necklace can experience. What I firmly believe, because I, I see this all the time, is that necklaces that break are usually necklaces that are so accumulated with um, these unwanted energies that the necklace has no choice but to just snap open to try to release some of these energies. And this is one of the reasons that I suggest unclasping your necklace or the necklaces that can unclasp before you cleanse them. Thank you for your interest in gemstone medicine. If you would like to learn more, please visit my website where you can sign up for a free email home study course on gem formulas, gemstone medicine.